Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Fiping Math. And um, in this video, I'm going to share with you a very interesting integral, which is the integral from zero to one, and the integral is x times the fractional part of one over x times the floor uh, the, of the one over x. So, uh, if you have time, please pause the video and have a try on the question, and we'll see the answer in a second later. So before we start our calculation, let's have a look on what is the uh, floor function of a variable x. The floor function of the x is defined as the greatest integer less than or equal to x. So um, let's have some example, like if we have a number 3.5, then the floor of 3.5 is 3. And then if we have um, exactly the floor of an integer 3, it will equal to itself. So this is the floor function of x. And what is the fractional part of x? Oh, oops, sorry. Uh, okay, this is better. Well, this is like, um, let's have an example. like. The fractional part of 3.5 is equal to exactly 0 0.5. So that means we don't need the integral part, integer part. We just need its decimal part. So let's have another example like, um, let's say 3.1416. And then its fractional part is exactly 1416. So this is the fractional part of x. And in fact, we can write the fractional part of x as the number itself minus its floor. So in this case, how do we get uh, 0 0.5? Uh, we can write 3.5 and subtract the floor of 3.5, which is equal to 3. So we can get 0 0.5. So the first thing we can do is to investigate how this integral works. And because uh, inside the fractional part and the floor, it is 1 over x. And it will be very difficult for us to think of the situation of uh, the number 1 over x inside the interval from 0 to 1. So it will be better to have a substitution first. And we can substitute u equals 1 over x. And then we differentiate both sides and we will get negative 1 over x squared dx. And then we change uh, a bit of the subject. And then we replace the x by 1 over u like this. And then we can further simplify like this. So the dx will equals will equal to one uh, negative one over u square du, and then we can do the uh, substitution by changing the limit when x is equal to one and x is equal to zero, and then we will get the u um, it will tends to one, and then the u it will tends to the positive infinity, and then we can change the integral like this. We integrate from infinity to 1. And then this x will become 1 over u. The fractional part of u times the floor of u times negative 1 over u square du. Well, it looks more messy, right? But it's OK. We should be, uh, be patient. Notice that we have negative sign, and then we can flip the limit of the integral. And then we can combine these two uh, terms. We can write it as a single fraction, u cube, the fractional part of u in the numerator times the floor of u, du. And then we replace the whole thing in x because we can uh, replace the dummy variable u by x anytime. Oh, sorry. 
the floor of x over x squared dx. Okay, so let's investigate this guy. So because the floor function will uh, divide all the numbers uh, bit by bit, so we can consider for uh, the interval from 1 to 2. And then we know that the floor of x will equal to 1. And so for the next interval between 2 and 3, and the floor of x will be equal to 2, and so on and so forth. So, so what can we do on this integration? We can break the integral into tiny parts. Namely, from 1 to 2 we can integrate, and then inside this interval, we are integrating the fractional part of x, which is indeed equal to x minus the floor of x, right? But inside this interval, from 1 to 2, the floor of x is exactly 1. So we are integrating x minus 1, and then for the floor of x, x is exactly 1, right? And then over x uh, cubed, oh, I miss, uh, this is uh, indeed, it should be a cube, and dx. So we can apply this concept, and then we can plus the next interval from 2 to 3, and then it is x minus 2 times 2 over x cubed dx. So we can repeat this concept to every single uh, sub-integral. And to simplify our expression, we can write it as a summation. So our summation should be from k equals to 1 to infinity. Well, we are integrating from k to k plus 1 because our interval is increasing 1 by 1. And then we can write it as x minus k because from k to k plus 1, the floor of x is equal to k times k over x cubed dx. So now we can proceed to do more things. Okay, we can simplify the integral a bit. And this is a summation from k to k plus 1. And then we can separate the fraction into k over x square minus k square over x cubed dx. And then now we can integrate the two fractions. So um, for the first term, k over x square, and it will be equals to negative k over x plus. For this guy, k square over x cubed, well, we treat the x k square as the constant over 2x square. And then when we add the integrating limits, so we can substitute the two limits into, uh, into the bracket, and then we, we, we write a bigger bracket and then first we put k plus 1 and then this is a negative k over k plus 1 plus k square over 2 times k plus 1 whole square close the bracket minus and then we substitute the k is negative k over k plus k square over 2k square and then we close the bracket. Okay, let's see the second bracket. And we know that this guy is equal to negative 1. And these two guys cancels, and this is equal to plus 1 over 2. And overall, it is a negative 1 over 2. 
whoops and then there is a negative sign here so the two negative sign cancel and then we can further simplify our expression as the negative k over k plus 1 plus k square over 2 times k plus 1 whole square plus half so we need to simplify this three fraction together so now we are doing uh, the fraction part we can write negative 2k times k plus 1 plus k square plus k plus 1 whole square and then we divide the whole expression by 2k plus 1 whole square and then we simplify the expression a bit so I will go this side and then this is the summation from k equals 1 to infinity so now we need to expand all the things is negative 2k square minus 2k plus k square plus k plus 1 whole square it is equals to um, k square plus 2k plus 1 over 2 times k plus 1 whole square okay so we go here and then we can see some terms can be cancelled these three terms can cancel out and these two terms also so the whole integral is left with 1 over 2k plus 1 whole square and then we can see that 1 over 2 is a constant so we pull it out outside the summation and what is this summation represents well let's see k from 1 and this is equal to 1 over 2 square plus 1 over 3 square plus 1 over 4 square so on and so forth and this looks very familiar with the theta function at the value of 2 but we are missing the first term right we are missing 1 over 1 square wow so thick okay I change it to Vina and then what can we do we can uh, add a 1 in the beginning and then add the remaining terms to infinity and then we minus 1 at the back and so this guy is equal to the theta 2 and then we can write it as a half and we know that the Riemann theta function at its value of 2 has the value of pi square over 6 minus 1 and this is our final answer and I hope you guys will like my video and please like and share to uh, my video and I will see you in the next video thank you bye bye